of today is blindness. WHO defines blindness as visual equity of less than 3 by 60 or its equivalent. In the absence of appropriate vision charts, WHO defines blindness as inability to count fingers in daylight at a distance of 3 meters. Visual impairment is categorized as low vision when the visual equity is maximum less than 6 by 80 or 6 by 60, minimum equal to or better than 6 by 60 or 3 by 60. Blindness is labeled when visual equity maximum less than 3 by 60, 1 by 60 or no light perception, minimum equal or better than 1 by 60 or light perception. About 180 million people worldwide are visually disabled and among them 45 million are blind. About 80% of blindness is avoidable uh, and other causes of blindness and their estimated prevalence are cataract uh, 19 million, glaucoma 6.4 million, trachoma 5.6 million, childhood blindness greater than 1.5 million and other causes include 10 million. 32% of worlds blind are aged 45 to 59 years. 58% are greater than 60 years old. Major causes of blindness in developing countries include cataract, glaucoma, accidents, uh, vascular diseases uh, and degeneration of ocular tissue. Leading causes of childhood blindness uh, include congenital cataract, xerophthalmia, vitamin A which is caused by vitamin A deficiency, uh, congenital cataract, congenital glaucoma and optic A drop. Okay, now this slide shows the causes of blindness according to their percentages and the estimated national prevalence of childhood blindness or low vision is 0.80 per thousand. Among epidemiological determinants of blindness, age is very important factor. Uh, it is said that 30% uh, of blind lose their eyesight before they reach the age of 20 years in developing countries and many under the age of 5 years. Refractory errors, trachoma, conjunctivitis, and malnutrition due to vitamin A deficiency are important causes of blindness among children and the younger age groups. Cataract, refractory errors, glaucoma, and diabetes are causes of blindness in middle age. Accidents and injuries can occur in all age groups, but more importantly, in age group 20 to 40 years. In uh, higher prevalence of uh, trachoma, conjunctivitis and cataract is seen in women leading to high prevalence of blindness in women. According to International Agency for the Prevention of Blindness in 2019, 250 million people are visually impaired worldwide and among them 55% of uh, women are visually impaired whereas 89% of visually impaired people live in low and middle income countries which shows uh, the relation of blindness to poverty as well. And other epidemiological determinant of uh, blindness is malnutrition which is associated with low vitamin A intake and is caused by infectious diseases of childhood especially measles and diarrhea in age group 6 months to 3 years. Occupation is also very important as people working in factories, workshops and cottage industries are prone to eye injuries because of exposure to dust, airborne particles, flying objects, gases, fumes, radiations, uh, usually welding flash, electrical flash, etc. Uh, many Workers, including doctors, are known to have developed premature cataracts, 
while exposed to X-rays, ultraviolet rays or heat waves. Again, social class is very important. Uh, epidemiological determinant of blindness as uh, surveys indicate that blindness is twice more prevalent in poor class than in well-to-do. Social factors uh, such as ignorance, poverty, low standards of personal and community hygiene and inadequate healthcare services are also very important. Okay, now coming to the prevention of blindness. Components for action in national programs for prevention of blindness include initial assessment in which epidemiological approach is very important as uh, it is useful for the measurement of incidence, prevalence of disease and their risk factors. The local epidemiological situation will determine the action needed. Uh, healthcare leans on the use of auxiliary health for personnel to fill many gaps uh, and team concept is very important. Uh, this gap is filled by village health workers, ophthalmic assistants, multipurpose workers and voluntary agencies. Other uh, components include primary eye care, secondary care, tertiary care, specific programs, long-term measures, and evaluation. Now we will uh, see each of them individually. Okay, I have already told you that an initial assessment uh, prevalent surveys are done within the country to assess the magnitude, geographic distribution, and causes of blindness. Now, Coming to the methods of intervention, first one is primary eye care. A wide range of eye conditions, for example, acute conjunctivitis, ophthalmia, neonatorum, trichoma, superficial foreign bodies, xeropathalmia, can be treated or prevented at the grassroots level by locally trained primary health workers, for example, village health guides, multipurpose workers, who are the first to make contact with the community. For this purpose, they are provided with essential drugs such as topical tetracycline, vitamin A capsules, eye bandages, shields, etc. They are also trained to refer difficult cases, for example, corneal ulcers, penetrating foreign bodies, painful eye conditions, and infections which do not respond to treatment to the nearest primary health care center or district hospital. Their activities also involve promotion of personal hygiene, sanitation, good dietary habits, and safety in general. Currently, there is village health guide for 1000 population, one village health guide for 1000 population, and two multipurpose workers for 5000 population. In short, primary eye care is based firmly in primary health care which is you already known as the essential health care made universally accessible to individuals and families in the community through their full participation and at a cost that the community and country can afford. The promotion and protection of eye health together with on-the-spot treatment for the commonest eye diseases are its cornerstones. The final objective of primary eye care is to increase the coverage and uh, quality of I health through primary health care approach and thereby improve the utilization of existing resources. Secondary eye care involves definitive management of common blinding conditions such as cataract, tritiasis, entropion, ocular trauma, glaucoma, etc. Uh, this care is provided in primary health centers and district hospitals where I departments or eye clinics are established. The secondary care may involve the use of uh, mobile eye clinics. For instance, cataract accounts for over 62% of blindness. The eye cam approach to make cataract surgery available has been highly successful and has received wide popular support. Apart from cataract operations, uh, these camps undertake general health service for early detection of visual defects, 
as well as education of the masses. For mobile health services to be effective, there must be good community participation in the program, adequate follow-up and evaluation must also be provided. The great advantage of this strategy is uh, that it is problem specific and makes the best use of local resources and provides inexpensive eye care to the population at the peripheral level. Tertiary care services are usually established in the national and regional capitals and are often associated with medical colleges and institutes of medicines. They provide sophisticated ideas such as retinal detachment surgeries, corneal graft tanks, and other complex forms of management not available in secondary centers. Other measures of rehabilitation comprise education of the blind in special schools and utilization of the services and gainful employment. Uh, new approaches and strategies for solving the problem of blind are being established by the central government. Okay, now in this slide you can see that rehabilitation services are being provided to the clients in their special schools. Specific control programs include trachoma control, school eye health services. Um, it is a very useful approach for the eye health problems in the community, school children, farmers important segment of the community and they can be screened and treated for defects such as refractory errors, squint and myopia, trachoma, etc. Health education is also an important component of school health services. Uh, students should be taught to practice the principles of good posture, proper lighting, avoidance of glare, proper distance and angle between the books and the eyes. Use of suitably readable type of style in textbooks should be encouraged. And other uh, is vitamin A for file access. Two lakh international units of vitamin A are given orally at six monthly intervals between the ages one to six years. To be, to be able to control xenophobia, the whole community should be kept under surveillance for one year and children for five years. To prevent occupational eye health uh, injuries, uh, education on the prevention of occupational eye hazards and the use of protective devices in occupations like welding is very really essential. The key to the prevention of accidents in factories is to improve the safety features of machines to have proper illumination of the working area uh, to select workers with a uh, with the requisite alertness and good vision and to encourage the use of protective devices. The trachoma control program was merged with the national program for the control of blindness in 1976. Endemic trachoma and associated infections are major cause of preventable blindness in many developing countries. Early diagnosis and treatment, treatment will cure trachoma. National programs have been uh, launched against trachoma in many countries. Mass campaigns with topical tetracycline and the improvement of social economic conditions have uh, reduced the severity of trachoma and associated with clear conjunctival infections. It is important that refractory errors in the children should be detected earlier and treated accordingly. Long-term measures are aimed at improving the quality of life and modifying or attacking the factors responsible for the persistence of eye health problems. For example, poor sanitation, lack of adequate safe water supplies, little intake of foods rich in vitamin A, lack of personal hygiene, etc. Health education is an important long-term measure in order to create community awareness of the problem to motivate the community to accept total eye healthcare programs and to secure community participation. National program for the control of blindness was launched in 1976 and its goal was to reduce the prevalence of blindness from 1.4 to 2.3% by 2000. 
prevalence was 1% as was as measured in 2006 and 7 Evaluation should be an integral part of interventional programs to measure the extent to which ocular diseases and blindness have been alleviated, assess the manner and degree to which program activities have been carried out, and determine the nature of other changes that may have been produced. This slide shows the challenges faced by the government for the prevention of blindness, and we need to develop new public health approaches or strategies um, our ultimate goal should be a uh, high quality equitable and comprehensive eye care services for the whole community today the most important challenge faced by the human race is the blue light emerging from electronic devices and how does blue light affect our vision Blue rays are emerged from smartphones, tablets, or laptops, and other electronic devices. Nowadays, our young generation is spending most of their time in using electronic gadgets, uh, which mm, are hurting their eyes by causing macular degeneration of the retina, which in turn leads to blindness. In order to prevent blindness, we should consume diet rich in vitamin A and should get routine eye checkups. This slide shows the global commitment endorsed by WHO member states to improve eye health for everyone over the next five years, and its target is 25% reduction in avoidable blindness. Uh, the issue is 285 million people are visually impaired and 4 by 5 cases are avoidable. 90% of the world's visually impaired people live in developing countries. Governments should must put in uh, place comprehensive eye health care services for major causes of visual impairment covering promotion, prevention, rehabilitation and care. Uh, there should be access for everyone, including the poor, minorities, indigenous people, persons with disabilities, women and those in rural areas. Eye health integrated uh, into national health system. Point of care payment should not prevent access and should be free for the poor. We in 2020, the right to sight is a global initiative to eliminate avoidable blindness by the year 2020. Aim is to develop sustainable comprehensive healthcare system to ensure the best possible being for all people and thereby improve quality of life. The right to sight, a global initiative to eliminate avoidable blindness was launched by WHO on 18th February 1999. Uh, recognition of sight as a fundamental human right by all countries can be an important catalyst of initiatives for the prevention and control of blindness. The objective of WE in 2020 is to assist member countries in developing sustainable systems which will enable them to eliminate avoidable blindness from major causes that is cataract, leukopalmia and other causes of childhood blindness, refractory errors and low vision, trachoma and other causes of corneal blindness by the year 2020.